Hi guys. So today I'm going to fit the uh, SW Motec sump guard to the Honda CB500X, my 2019 model. Um, I know it's not the heavy dutiness of the rally raid, but as I've explained in other videos, I want a centre stand and the rally raid won't fit with the centre stand. So I'm going to give this a try. Um, for my use, I think this will work fine. Uh, but anyway, that's the actual uh, sump guard itself. <clears throat> Those are the two brackets that are going to fit to the uh, engine mountings at the front. And go something like that. And then get bolted in somewhere down here. comes with a little bung <laughs> which goes in one side um, I presume just because it's got an open-ended um, bar <coughs> these are the two brackets for the uh, rear engine mounts and they then bolt to these two locations at the rear of the SW Mortec belly pan. Comes with a couple of, this side comes with a washer, sorry, it comes with a spacer and a nut. The right side comes with a new bolt and from the instructions this bolt you use to push through the old bolt so it comes out the other side which will be interesting but that's the method for doing it and a washer. Uh, and that's it. That's the kit. Um, I think it looks straightforward enough. Um, the only nervousness I've got is pushing the bolt out with this bolt, but I'm sure we'll soon find out. Um, it's going to be a bit difficult filming today because it's going to rain shortly, so I'm having to do it in the garage, so it's a bit restricted. So there may not be quite a lot of detail there. I'll just film bits when I've maybe done them just to show you. And uh, I'm just waiting for a new uh, camera, which is going to help me a little bit because my iPhone's completely and utterly full. Uh, I've had to delete some apps just to gain some space in the short term. Uh, so I'm not so sure even when this is going to get posted, but it won't matter to you watching, will it? So I'll come back to you once I start fitting. So. The first step is on the right hand side of the uh, motorcycle with this engine mount here there's a bolt and a spacer which is just tucked in behind the frame so the bolt comes out the spacer is removed and discarded and then this bracket the right hand side bracket is then fitted in here so We'll just give that a try now. Ooh, yeah. There we go. I do hate taking bolts out of engines. I'm not even going to look. No, not going to look, not going to look, not going to look. Oh, no. Okay, so. Just take that out. Oh, there we go. So that's the original engine bolt which we're going to reuse. And that's the spacer that we're going to discard. Okay, so, so far so good. Engine hasn't dropped. Um, what we're going to do now is put some <sighs> lock thread onto the bolt. Never forget your lock thread. Oh, oh I'm going to be a bit hacked off if I run out. <laughs>
Right. We just have to. Oops, a bit much. Oops, far too much. You know what I'm going to be ordering on Amazon tonight? Mind, the way things are going with having to buy a new phone and camera, I have cracked the screen on mine, but there was no memory on it. Uh, I don't think I can afford any more bits for a while. <laughs> this YouTube's costing a fortune. Okay, so we've got rather more than we need on there, but um, needs must. So, what we're going to do now is offer up the bracket, which has got to go that way. Yep, got to go that way. So, oh, that just fits perfect, as you'd expect from SW Mortec. The bits are really well engineered. Um, when I've fitted SW Mortec stuff to other bikes, everything has just fitted. And that's a great example of how it just fits. So, original spacer discarded, bracket in place, and bolt going back in again which makes me really happy. Now we're not going to tighten it up. I'll just uh, just put it in sufficient to sort of reconnect again. So that's now fitted but loose. I'm not even going to nip it up for now. I'm just going to leave it like that, loose. Yeah, so... <clears throat> Roughly speaking, if you can see on there, maybe not, that's going to sit roughly at about that position, I guess. No, maybe about there. But we'll see when we get to that point. So we're now on the left hand side of the bike, and we're going to take that engine bolt out, just like we did on the other side, uh, and the spacer, duplicate of the other side, and in fact, everything we're doing at the moment is just duplication. So when the space is out, that'll fit in and we'll put the original bolt back through. Right, so the bolt's out, the space is out. We're going to discard the spacer, reuse the bolt. And uh, once again, we'll put some uh, Loctite on. So. What we're going to do now is uh, offer this up, which is that way around. Ah, now then, interestingly, that doesn't quite... Ah. So, that's a little bit in the way for physically offering it up, but easing it back, putting this on, that'll then just sit, hopefully, just comfortably. There, it does. Perfect. Okay, so as you can see, the uh, hopefully you can see, yes you can, uh, that bracket just lines up with the, uh, with the other one and then they ultimately bolt through to the actual sump guard. So I'm just going to do that. Okay, so that's the second part of it, so pretty straightforward now. Don't forget when you... Uh, Discard your washers, it's always worth keeping them in case you, you know, when you come to sell the bike, if you don't sell it with all the gear on, you can reinstate as original. Okay, so the, the next step is to um, remove that bolt for the holding the uh, gear lever in place, uh, and then just put the gear lever out the way, it says on the foot peg, but just somewhere out of the way. Uh, so we'll just take that off now. There we go. Okay, so that uh, now just goes somewhere out of the way. Voila. 
Okay, so we're on the right hand side of the bike at the rear uh, engine mounting, which is just in there. And there's a nut there that we're going to remove. So we're going to remove this nut and then force the bolt through the other side using the new bolt. That's the old bolt forced through with the new bolt. Okay guys, so the uh, I got the nut and bolt off. Um, it was quite, uh, they're quite tough really. I guess they're just, um, you know, factory fitted. But um, I sprayed a bit, bit of WD-40 uh, into the bolt and behind the bolt. Uh, went off and made a coffee <laughs> and came back and then give it another go and it, it came off eventually. So now I've put the bracket that sits on this side, which is fitted there, with the bolt and washer partly through. And I'm now going to push that bolt out, uh, the, the existing bolt with the new bolt through. Okay, so that bolt's gone through uh, very easily now, um, but something that wasn't in the instructions, which I did have to do, is this plastic uh, cover here, uh, which is at the head of the uh, the front of the chain, the front chain sprocket. Um, yeah, really, that's what that cover is. Um, I just had to undo it and then ease it back slightly so that the original bolt could actually come through and that's uh, that's done. I'll leave that as it is now because I'll need to get my hands in to, uh, to put the uh, nut on this end. Okay, so actually that was fairly painless. All we're going to do now is pop a new spacer on the end of that bolt. The bracket for this side, which is actually, I guess, that way. So actually, the, yeah, the spacer goes on the bolt. The bracket then sits on the uh, spacer, and then we put the nut on there. So I'm going to uh, do that now. It's a little bit of a fiddle. There's not much to see, actually, from where you're at. And I should have had my rubber gloves on, but hey ho, we're a bit past that now. Okay, guys, so um, it's been a bit awkward filming, just unfortunate, but in tight spaces. Um, so we've got that bolt through that we forced the old bolt out with the new one. I've now got the uh, nut um, and the bracket fitted to this side, the left side. So that's all brackets are now fitted. Nothing yet tightened up. And uh, I'm now gonna offer up the belly pan uh, to the rear brackets first, I think. Uh, and then the front brackets. Um, so these are gonna get uh, tightened up in advance of tightening everything else up. Uh, and um, the torque setting on all four of these bolts, two at the front, two at the back, uh, the torque setting is 18 newton meters. So I'm just gonna have a go with that and see what we can do. Again, the other thing about this, guys, is that um, Obviously, if there's two people, this all this sort of stuff becomes a lot easier because you can have somebody holding it and, you know, it just becomes easier, you know, uh, tightening bolts up from either side at the same time. But I'm doing this on my own and so far, and I think I've had the most difficult bit done, uh, so far it's worked okay. A uh, bit of a fiddle, um, but I've managed to so far do what I need to do. Um, but if you've got a spare pair of hands around, I'd, I'd use them. Well, that 
block of wood I used to use uh, when I had it on this side stand without the centre stand just to uh, give it a little bit more uprightness so a block of wood has come in handy so the uh, the rear bolts are just bolts and the front ones are the hex bolts uh, the rear two um, have uh, washers and uh, like everything we're just going to put some lock thread on So that's the rear two attached and we'll just move to the front two now. Okay, so that's uh, that's now attached. So there's still a little bit of movement in that. <coughs> and I'll now go to the uh, to the back and do the, the back ones. Okay guys, so that's the bolts on, not not tightened, just sort of nipped up um, and everything sort of starts to take its, uh, take its shape now. Um, I'm just going to check everything um, before I uh, start to torque this, these four bolts up. Um, so I'm just going to check through things and come back to you. Okay guys, so um, we're now going to, I've checked everything round and I'm happy everything looks right. Um, the next step is to uh, tighten the four bolts, the two front ones and the two underneath to attach this to the brackets. And um, I've nipped them up, but I'm now going to torque them, which is uh, 18, 1, 8 newton meters. So I'm just going to uh, do that now. Obviously, as I'm tightening them up, I'm just going back from one to the other until we get to our correct torque. Okay, so so that's that one tightened. That's that one tightened. So the rear two are now uh, tightened. So we're going to do the front two. And then after that, it's uh, down to um, simply uh, reattaching the gear shift, then tighten the engine bolts.
Okay, so that uh, belly pan is now firmly attached as prescribed to the four support struts and uh, simply now just working through putting this uh, gear shift back on again which um, is pretty straightforward if I can remember I was going to attach the uh, gear shift back again but then it would have obstructed the getting into that bolt so although it does say reattach uh, I'm going to leave that until um, until I've actually torqued up the engine bolts. Okay guys, so um, everything's now uh, torqued up. Uh, the gear shift is uh, back on again. Um, everything looks right, feels right, you know, when you look around it. Um, so I just need to test ride it to see that it's okay uh, in the ride. Um, and uh, we'll just see how it goes but from a point of view of it fitting it was fairly straightforward and uh, quite pleased with how it went on really. <laughs> 